Brainy Dose presents the 12 types of people on the internet. The internet is both wonderful and strange. While the perks are plentiful, I'm sure you'll agree that internet users you encounter online are quite diverse. Some of them are intense, some of them can be annoying, some of them are inspiring and likable, and some of them are you. No matter how you spend your time online, you will have Cybermen at least one of each of these folks. Number 1. The Centers They are the biggest users. They breathe and live on the web. They take center stage on the web and are active on every social community possible. These people love creating their own web content and are amongst the best techies. They usually read up on all the latest developments and get the newest devices. Number 2. The Critics The internet allows anyone to be a critic while they hide behind their screens anonymously. More than 50% of people who view user-generated content comment on blogs and social media. They also post ratings and reviews for products and services. Since the rate of internet users who follow user-generated content declines with age, for those over the age of 40, the percentage who are critics drops to around 10 to 20%. Number 3. The Open Sharers You know these people, and you know them well, whether you want to or not. At an average age of 32, these users are always on social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter. They share everything, where they are, what they're doing, who they're doing, pictures of their new house or car, and sometimes even when their last bowel movement was. They use the internet to tell everyone what they're up to. If only they knew how much others don't give a crap, but it's the world we live in. Number 4. The Simply Interactors These people think that Facebook is the internet. They spend all day posting cute videos and inspirational quotes. On average, they are slightly older than open sharers, more likely to be female and only about 50% hold a full-time job. But that number sounds about right when all your time is spent on Facebook. To their credit, when it comes to social media, simply interactors are much savvier than the average user, but they fall behind everywhere else and they usually aren't very computer savvy. Look out for that virus! Number 5. The Solely Shoppers These folks are master bargain hunters. They scour the net to compare prices and find the best deals. News, entertainment, social interaction? Nope, just deals. On that note, these people are the biggest targets of internet marketers, and they tend to know very little about how data is used to target them. Number 6. The Passive Users Surveys suggest that these people don't fully realize the value of the internet. They are more likely to be unmarried males, and while they don't spend much time on social media, they do seem to be using many mobile apps. Passive users are completely okay with giving up their data, while they're unaware of targeted marketing and how to manage privacy. It's most likely that these guys spend most of their time online watching the naughty stuff. You know, stuff that starts with a P and rhymes with porn. Number 7. The Proactive Protectors This crowd is probably the geekiest and the oldest but they are among the best educated and most employable. They have a lot in common with open sharers, except for the fact that they are the least willing to share their lives in public. Small fact, three quarters of them routinely clear their browser cookies. Number eight, the gamers. Gamers are passionate and usually a pleasant bunch. Well, until the console wars start, you know, Xbox versus PlayStation versus PC. You can find them on Twitch or YouTube alike. They do tend to get a bit grumpy when their internet connection isn't running at 100%. Gamers tend to use the internet mainly for games, and they are much more likely to be PC users. Because Mac sucks. Number 9. The New to the Internet Users Everyone and their grandmother is online these days, literally. Grandmas are popping up all over the net. Are they using the latest devices, computers, and high-speed connections? Probably not, but they are there, watching your activities. They send emails wondering why you have time for all that social media stuff, but no time to write them. Number 10. The Downloaders Downloaders have huge hard drives to store all their cracked software. They know their way around torrent sites, and they have a large collection of programs, movies, music, games, and stuff. Number 11. The Debaters Have you ever posted something on a forum or Facebook and regretted it because it took on a serious life of its own? Your comment may be throwaway, but there's always that risk that it will find the attention of someone with far more knowledge than you. 
and you can expect a 10 paragraph response challenging what you've said. Number 12, the trolls. Yes, this list wouldn't be complete without mentioning these guys. They're usually hanging out in comment sections just waiting to offend someone, but they can sometimes bring a good laugh as well. When it comes to trolls, well, they're everywhere and you can't really escape them. So try not to take shit too seriously. So then, which type of internet user are you? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.